we specially put on these, Carol, for that forecast and for something else. <laughs> we'll explain. It was a wise got, move. Are you wearing Where's a nice little yellow mac? Have you got one, I Carol? Have, I have got oh, one. Oh, go on, pop yes. it on. Uh, so the reason, is, <laughs> the reason... I, I think mine really fits well. I think it's the way you've sort of got it slumped off your touch. I, I, I can't, wrong, I, I I can't fit it on. Are you wearing the wrong one? I think this is confirmation if we ever needed it. I'm not a size 10. Oh, there's Carol. Carol's got hers on. Oh, the look. I've got a big Sylvester. Carol is fits styling like a dream, out. Carol. Uh, the reason why we're wearing our <laughs> yeah, why lovely are, why are we wearing yellow mask <laughs> <laughs> is because if you've been watching uh, this drama, it's a drama that's viewed grips up, <laughs> gripped viewers, struggling to breathe. broken online streaming records and even led to a boom in the sale of beautiful yellow raincoats. Yes, uh, normally ones that fit, though. Keeping Faith is the mystery thriller. It's about a solicitor searching for her missing husband. I can't move my arms. Uh, in a small... Like a Tyrannosaurus Rex. In a small Welsh <laughs> town. It became BBC Wales's most popular show for 25 years when it was broadcast in February. And it's very serious. And since then, it's racked up more than 8 million iPlayer downloads. We are joined by the lady who has brought the yellow coat to the, the whole nation, Eve Miles. <laughs> you're yeah. looking wonderful. Thank, oh, thank, thank you. And you, particularly, you're styling I, I think you are lying. <laughs> <laughs> um, it, it's lovely to see you. We'll talk about uh, the series in a moment. Thank Let's you. have a look at the clip, first of all. I love you. Love you. You seem to hate precious good. Good. You know what else is the music yeah. in it, which has been specially written, hasn't it, for yes, the by series? Yes, Amy Wodge. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's brilliant. I mean, I know you liked it when you first saw the script, but did yes. you think it would go and smash all these iPlayer records? And and so many people are, are talking about it, even though initially it's been quite hard to find for some. Yes. Um, well, when the script came through, it was it was evident. Matthew Hall, who who wrote it, it was um, it was fantastic. And that script came through about five years ago. Right. And uh, it came through, and Pip Broughton, who's the director and producer of the piece, um, sent it to me. And when you get a script as good as that, and a director and a producer as good as that, well, it's, it's kind of magic, and you've got to jump on board. But what Pip has done is carved out a, a fantastic thriller in amongst these scripts. And um, you never know when you're doing something how it's going to be mm. received. You mm. just hope that people enjoy it. We knew we had a really, really good story to tell with a brilliant cast and a fantastic crew t to make it. And what's interesting about your character um, is that she's really relatable. Mm. Yeah. And sometimes, that, you know, some characters are, are not like that. And it's, could you see that right at the start? Yeah, I think that, you know, myself and Pip Broughton really wanted to go for hyper-realism. Yeah. And we wanted to see you know, a, a real mum, a mum of three, and also a woman who, who's working and is really busy and also likes to have a lot of fun, and then this, this tragic event happens. Um, and we just wanted to keep it very kind of tactile and, and people to go, I know that woman. Well, it, well it's, mm. that, you know? it's, for me, it's the details. It's the mm. sort of, um, you know, um, lots of people houses, well, not everybody's, will look like that with toys on the floor yes. and all the rest of it. That's what it was for me. It was the detail yeah. that, that you had in this as well yeah yeah I think it's we've we've kept everything as as truthful and as mm. honest as we possibly can with the performances yeah um, with how it looks with how it sounds like Pip was adamant that there's never to be a clean line mm. you overlap everything you make it messy it's the only time she'd come in and stop a scene from happening she'd say it it sounds and it looks like a drama we don't want it to sound and look like a drama we want it to look like this is, some, this is Faith's life, and we're inviting people into Faith's mm -hmm. life and what's happened to her. So with regards to that, it probably helped that your on-screen husband was played by your real-life husband. So yes. know, did, that, did that sort of add to the, the sort of normality hindrance. of it? Huge hindrance. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, it was, uh, it was strange because Brad had actually auditioned for another part in the show. Right. And uh, when we were told, he didn't get it. And then he came back and he said, um, I've 
I auditioned for Evan and I got the part of Evan. It was strange because we'd worked together Oh, the RSC years and years and years ago, we were Cass's brother and sister. Um, that was that was even more strange. Um, and then, um, <laughs> I like where you shake your head at that. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, it was lovely because we both look so different in the show. I'm not blonde. I'm very dark. And Brad is quite grey. He's going to hate me for this interview. But he's, you know, and normally he's got a, quite a hefty beard. And right. So we look very different. And um, but it was lovely to have his support there. And he's. He's a superb actor, and I'm really pleased that he got a chance to do this. Mm. Yeah. Um, tell us a little bit about. I love the baby as well. How yes. many babies did you have? To... We had three babies. <laughs> we had twin boys, and we had a little girl, and um, and of course they grow up so fast. Yes. We had to keep changing them, you know, and long, long hours. Mm. So we needed to have a few babies because Pip again mm -hmm. wanted to have, you know, the babies on the hips and the yes. babies in the scenes. And there are certain scenes in this where you can you watch those babies sleeping, and Pip gives time with the children. You can it's almost like you can smell those children come through the screen. Mm. You know when she mm. touches the babies. I still do it when we watch it. it. We had the premiere in London, and where she touches the baby and she says, "You know, stay safe." I just found myself kind of putting my hand out, going, to "Stay safe." You can. Yeah. It's so um, uh, intimate. Yeah, it really is, and some of those, some, sometimes long pauses when you're as a as a mother talking to your children. Yes. Which you know sometimes then they're asking you questions and you don't have the answers, and that's, it just feels really yeah. natural and very normal. And none of that was rushed. No, it didn't. We, we didn't all, look like it. Yeah, was. and all those beats had to be played. Mm. We don't get to see much of that in drama because drama is so rushed. Mm. We don't have a lot of time for that, but we wanted to make that really a strong part of keeping faith is that the audience had time to sit back with that music, to look at that landscape, to feel what Faith is feeling. Well, yeah. 8 million people have loved it on iPlayer already. We're up to 8.5. Wow. Now. I know, it's just uh, incredible. Well, hurry up, because you've only got until Friday to, yes, to Friday watch it on the evening, iPlayer. Yeah. Uh, second series, loads of people have asked this question already. Yeah. What, what do you know? What can you tell us this morning? Well, we, uh, we have second series in development. The scripts are... Um, are being written at the moment by Matthew Hall. Um, and that's it. So it's in development. Nothing's been greenlit yet. Mm -hmm. We don't know if it's happening again. Um, and in my position, you know, I've, I've been doing this for a long time now, and to have done one series and to have played this remarkable character and to have done it with Pip Broughton and Vox Pictures is just... Mm. I'm very, very happy. Mm. So whatever happens from here on in is a bonus. And just tell us, you, so you, you learnt Welsh as well? Yes, I did, yes. Even though you are, you are, That's you are, commitment, you are Welsh. I am Welsh. I'm, I'm very proud to be Welsh, but yeah. um, I don't speak any Welsh. Um, but you do now. Well, I can, I can certainly go to um, John Lewis and listen to people argue in Welsh, and I know exactly what's <laughs> oh, going really, on, and really. I can pitch it. Sounds like a great but, yeah, day. Yeah, I had to... Um, yes, it was, it's bilingual, so it's yeah. filmed in English and in Welsh. Brilliant. Um, so, on one hand, I was given this script with this opportunity to play Faith Howells, um, and tell this this story, and then on the other hand, it was yes, but we're doing it bilingually, and you have to speak Welsh. And I don't think my my director understood when I said I don't speak any Welsh, <laughs> like whatsoever, nothing. So we started with the alphabet. We started with well, R, B, K. Yeah. Well, that's, that's where you've got to start. And, um, Fantastic. The coat has been a big part of it. I know you wanted an iconic coat. We've yes, had uh, we some did. of our breakfast viewers been sending in pictures of them wearing. I didn't the know coat. this, have they? Yeah. Look. Look. Um, <laughs> I don't know. The, this is Natalie. <laughs> Natalie wearing. And I think she's actually sourced the identical coat there. That's Natalie's right, effort. We've got excellent. another one, have we? Okay. Oh, that's Sophie. I love the way that they've done all this. Sort of, you know, but not looking at the camera as artistic well. Artistic shots. Yeah, very artistic. Yep. Yeah. Oh. And there's look. Julia on the beach as well. Look at this. Absolutely brilliant. You've inspired Who? a generation of yellow. Oh, there oh, you go. Oh, a generation of yellow coat wearers. Oh, yeah. I, do you know what? It's uh, it's just one of those things, isn't it? We knew we wanted to have. We wanted an iconic coat because it because it's filmed on such vast landscape that we needed to be on a beach and have long shots and have drone shots, yeah. and we we needed to know that that was faith, you know. Yeah. Because the way that Pip shoots, she'll shoot on a cliff, and we're down on the beach. Well, turns out that faith is everywhere now. 
Well, yes. Yeah, you'll apparently. spot little faiths up and down the <laughs> yeah. shops in high streets well, wherever you go. Hopefully so. And hopefully the coat will be back in series two. Can I have this? Yes, you, you can. You have that as a spare. All, they're, they're much I mean, loved. As you much as I enjoyed wearing they've it. They've been I worn a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. Oh, lovely to yours. see you. Thank, Thank you so, so much. much. And Keeping Faith, as we said, is only on iPlayer until Friday. So if you want to see it, hurry up. Sort yourself out. Eight episodes, that's right, isn't it? Eight to get yes, through. Yes, so there is. Race yeah. through and we've got a few days to do it. Thank yeah. you very much for coming in. Oh, you're more than welcome. Thank you. Oh. Uh, we have been talking about a technology.